Karen De Quintana coming to you from the Beehive at QBSQuest.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a doghouse gift box using the Happy Tales bundle. This bundle consists of the Happy Tales stamp set and the Dog Builder Punch. And if you purchase them together as a bundle, you can save 10%. This little dog house is so cute. I left it open so you can use one of our gusseted bags to put your treat inside. And you can choose whether or not to put dog treats in here or human treats. The front of the box has this cute little greeting that says just for you. And I designed this box so that it would be relatively easy to make for everyone. I'm going to show you how to make this little box from start to finish. So let's get started. To start off with, you're going to need your Simply Scored scoring board and you're going to need a piece of cardstock. I'm using Sahara sand here. You will need to cut your piece to seven inches by six inches. I'm going to put one of the six inch sides up at the top of my scoring board and I'm going to score at the two inch mark and the four inch mark. Then I'm going to turn my cardstock a quarter turn so that one of the seven inch sides is up at the top and then I'm going to score at the two inch mark and the five inch mark. This is what the piece looks like and now you're going to take one of the shorter sides and cut along the score lines just to the first score intersection. You're going to do that for both score lines. Then turn the piece 180 degrees so the other shorter side is in front of you. And we're also going to cut up along the score lines just till the first score intersection. Now we're going to stamp these sides because these will be visible for the sides of the doghouse. You'll need a scrap piece of paper to protect your work surface. And I'm going to use the hard wood stamp and the crumb cake ink pad. I'm going to take my ink pad, I'm going to ink up just the bottom portion, just as far as the ink pad reaches. I just need to make sure that this part is stamped. It doesn't matter if the ink gets on these side pieces because they will be covered later on. So this part will be the side, so let's turn that and let's stamp the other side. So I'm just inking this up again and I kind of like my horizontals for the side of the doghouse. Let me take this and now I'm going to just line this up again. You will be able to see the bottom if you turn over the box so I'm just kind of stamping it so that the bottom is covered as well. Now that the piece is stamped, we can fold along all the score lines. And I'm going to use some Tombow glue to adhere the box together. I'm going to be putting Tombow on all four corner squares. And I'm going to leave this middle piece so that it is the outside square. So I'm going to bring these two in like this. And then I'm going to press down to create that end that creates that rectangular box. Then I'm going to come to the other side and I'm going to bend both of the tabs with the glue on them inwards first and then the middle one is the last one folded up. And that is the box base. Now let's build the front and the back of the doghouse. So we're going to build ourselves a little template to create the front and the back of the doghouse. So I just have a scrap piece of cardstock that measures two inches by three inches. One of the two inch sides is facing me and I'm going to take a ruler 
and I'm going to make a mark one inch over and then I'm going to make a mark one inch down on both sides. You can kind of see that here. Now you're going to connect those dots and you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little easier. And that is the peak of the doghouse right there. Then you can just take some scissors and I'm just gonna cut just a little bit inside of the pencil line. And once more. And now you can use this as the template so that you don't have to make the measurements each time. Now you'll need two pieces of cardstock to create the front and the back of the doghouse. Both of these measure two inches by three inches. The easiest way to do this is just to take your template and lay it right on top of your cardstock piece. And I'm just going to take scissors and just cut right along those lines. If you prefer, you, you could trace the template on first and then cut but this is just faster and easier. Let's do the same thing for the other one. Line it up, cut, and cut. So now you have two pieces for the front and the back, and I'd also like to stamp these. So again, I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of computer paper to stamp on. And I'm going to take both of these pieces and line them up side by side. I can stamp both of them at the same time. This time I want my stripes to be vertical stripes. So I'm going to ink up probably the bottom two thirds of this hardwood stamp using crumb cake again. Then lift this up and flip it around and I'm just going to make sure it lands right on top of my front and back. Give it a good push and then lift off. They're sticking. So I'll just lift them off. And there you go. Those are the front and back pieces. Now we just need to adhere them to the front and back of the box. So I'll just take the skinny side of my box and put some Tombow on it. And I'll take my piece and it should just fit nicely right on the front of the box. Just make sure it's lined up nicely, like that. And then you can do the same thing for the other side. And just line it up on that skinny end of the box. And then just press it down. So you can see the doghouse is already taking shape. Now we need to decorate up the front of the doghouse. So now we're going to create the door of the doghouse. So I have my big shot here. I've already got my magnetic platform down or you can use your regular platform if you wish. I've got a cutting plate down. I'm going to need a little piece of basic black cardstock. I've cut this to one and a quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. Place that on my platform. Then I'm going to need the layering oval framelits and I'm going to use the second smallest oval. And I'm just going to line up the edge of my framelit with the edge of the cardstock. Let me hold this up to the camera here. The oval should fit perfectly onto this basic black piece with a little bit of it hanging off because I need a straight edge for the bottom of the doghouse. I'll take my second cutting plate and place it on top and then I'm going to roll this through. And here is my doghouse door. Now I can bring my doghouse back in and take a little Tombow and glue the door to the front like that. Then we're going to need a little greeting for the front. So I have a scrap piece of very vanilla cardstock here. I have my greeting that says just for you and my Momento Tuxedo Black ink pad. 
I'm just going to ink this up and stamp it on my very vanilla piece. I'm going to use the classic label punch and punch it out. So when I put this in my punch, I want the just very close to this, this edge because I'm going to actually make this label a little shorter. So once that looks good, go ahead and punch it out. Now I'm going to take this little label and I'm going to slide it in from the side of my punch and then I'm going to pull it out with my fingers right here. I'm going to pull it forward until it looks centered and then I'll go ahead and punch it. So now I've just created a little bit of a shorter label. This can also get glued to the front of my doghouse. And I'm just going to add it just above the door. Then I want to add a little heart to the front of my doghouse as well. So I'm going to take the Dog Builder Punch and a scrap piece of lovely lipstick cardstock. Let me open this up. And I'll just slide this in. I just need to punch this in one of the corners. And there is my little heart. Now I can just take a little bit of Tombow, a dot and add this right at the peak of the doghouse, like that. Now I wanna stamp a dog so I can put it on my cellophane bag. So I'll need a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to create a Dalmatian. So I'm going to need the dog stamp plus the little dots that go with it. I'll bring in my Momento Tuxedo Black ink pad. Let's start off by inking up the dog and just stamping it on my scrap piece of Whisper White. Then I'll come in with the Dalmatian dots. The trick with this, this little dangly dot up top, that's going to go on the ears. So you're just going to line that first up on the ears and then once you've kind of got that lined up then you look at the spots going down the back and the chest when that looks good, go ahead and stamp it. And then we're going to bring in the Dog Builder Punch. Slide this in and just line it up till it looks good and give it a little punch. Then I'm going to take my lovely lipstick ink pad and the little collar stamp. And I'm just going to stamp that right on my Dalmatian like that. And there is the little dog piece that I'm going to add to the cello bag at the very end. So now we just need to fill our little box. And the best way to hold the treats is by using one of our three by six inch gusseted cellophane bags. And to create a nice bottom for the bag so it fits into the box perfectly, I've also cut a piece of cardstock that is three inches by two inches. This is just going to slide inside the bag and sit right at the bottom. Like that. And then I'm going to turn this one into a dog treat box. And milk bones work really well as the treat to go inside here. So I'll just take some milk bones and add them to the bottom of the bag. Right now I'm using about four. And then I'm just going to bring this in like this and we're going to tie it with some ribbon. I'm going to use some basic black shimmer ribbon and I'll just cut myself a length and we're just going to tie it around the cello bag. Make sure you use a double knot like that and then you can come in and cut off the ends of the ribbon on a bit of an angle so that it looks nicer. Then before you put your treats inside your box, you're going to take the dog and see this little gap in between the front paws and the back paws. I'm just going to pull out the knot of my bow just a little bit and I'm going to anchor those dog legs right over that knot. Then you can put your treats inside the box like that. 
and now it's ready for gift giving. I also did the same box with some human treats. I used about 12 Hershey's Kisses and I put them inside this cellophane bag. These little boxes would make a cute little gift for a dog or for a dog lover. All the supplies you'll need to make this fun doghouse gift box are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now. I love to reward my customers with free tutorials. Check out my Hershey's Flower tutorial with two sizes of gift boxes. You can get this tutorial free if you place a minimum $15 order in my Stampin' Up! store. For more details, check out my blog at qbsquest.com and click on rewards. Hi, it's Brenda again. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also visit my blog for more information on my projects and to learn about my rewards program, or just watch another one of my videos. Thanks for watching.